Hey, how's it going? It's Patricia again. Um, I just have some great stuff to talk about today. Um, as you know, I'm a midwife and I haven't talked about on this podcast that I also work in Haiti. I work with an organization called Mama Baby Haiti and um, myself and a group of friends, we founded it in 2010 and we have been there ever since. We're a birthing center in Cap Haitian and we have a huge team on the ground in Haiti. Um, our Haitian friends working very hard there to work on changing birth statistics in the country. And uh, <clears throat> Haiti has the worst maternal and neonatal mortality rates in the whole Western hemisphere. So that is how we ended up deciding to open there. Um, our birth center is pretty awesome and uh, like the other day, they were <laughs> crazy. I mean, we can usually go where there's like five babies a night or, you know, 25 babies in a week or something like that. But the other day we had 12 babies born in 12 hours and that's a pretty big deal. And um, a lot is going on in the country. For one, you know, the economy is really bad and uh, so people have the choice of buying food, which is very expensive if they have jobs or getting health care. And so we offer free care at Mama Baby, which is awesome. And yeah, 12 babies in 12 hours though. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's hard to believe. But uh, me and Jennifer will be leaving for Haiti in a couple weeks. We'll be there in October for a couple weeks and we're really looking forward to it. It's, there's been a like pause in our trips due to the pandemic. So I'm excited to have the opportunity to go again. Um, and I mean, we definitely need to bring in supplies and do all we can to get things functioning really well. They are such awesome people there that like our team, they like keep things going so well, but we're definitely needed for a little extra support. So I'm looking forward to going. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see everyone there. And then I wanted to share some information about a uh, uh, a blog post that came up and it is the Brave Voices Bold Action Actions Women's Health Rights and You and it's from the White Ribbon Alliance and they just made a new blog and I would love for you to go check it out. Um, ours is episode seven and there is a podcast on it too that you can listen to uh, with and it's got Carmel speaking. She's actually doing some voiceover for us on it. Um, but it's our, the episode that they're mentioning us in is called Motherhood and Chains and Other Violations of Liberty. And it's actually really educational from a healthcare standpoint, from a midwifery standpoint, and understanding the issues that are happening globally around the world. And, um, but especially also in Haiti, but they also talk about topics of things that are going on here in the United States that everyone should know about, um, forced sterilization in ice camps. That's an important topic to be aware of and uh, understand, you know, that there's, I know we can't understand it. I don't know that anybody can understand that type of stuff, but I guess understanding that there are, there are violations happening globally around the world. And there are a lot of people working to change that and that people have liberty and rights and these violations stop, you know? So I would like you to listen to it. It's like I said, it's the Brave Voices, Bold Action, Actions, Women's Health, Rights, and You from the White Ribbon Alliance. That's the podcast. And it's episode seven. Episode seven is called uh, Motherhood in Chains and Other Violations of Liberty. You're going to learn a lot by listening. So please take the time to do it. And then um, you all know, like I use a lot of doTERRA products and I talk about using my doTERRA oils a lot. And I may use them in birth and I may use them in appointments and I may talk about supplements and it's definitely a huge part of my lifestyle. Like I use them daily. I use the oils, I use the vitamins, I use the skincare products, you know, all of it. It's just my jam. It's my lifestyle. But there are also aspects of the doTERRA company that um, are really, really, really big deal to me from a humanitarian standpoint. Um, they have an organization with them called the Healing Hands Foundation. And the Healing Hands Foundation is a nonprofit organization that helps people all around the world. And they have helped Mama Baby Haiti 
in ways that <laughs> you would never believe. Like the the funds that they send us and help us to provide education and healthcare. They've given us a lot of oils to take with us, but they're helping us like we will be building a new birth center coming up. We've bought the land. They've helped us purchase that land. It is a really big deal. So um, I just want to do a shout out to say thank you. I want to give a shout out to the White Ribbon Alliance, who's working to make a difference in lives globally, as well as doTERRA's Healing Hands Foundation. Thank you both for supporting our work at Mama Baby, and we appreciate you like like unbelievable amounts of appreciation. We are humbled by all the things that you do and thank you so much. But um, like I said, as you know, I'm a midwife. So uh, I like my life kind of revolves around births and babies, births in this country, births in other countries. Um, I was at a birth yesterday. It was very sweet, perfect, sweet birth. But sometimes I think Mm, as midwives, maybe we suck in a little bit too much energy. So I've got a headache today and I maybe cried my eyes out last night for unknown reasons. Maybe just exposed to too many other people's hormones. I don't know. There was nothing wrong. Like the birth went great. Everything was great. I had to release some emotions. So I've got some puffy face today and a little bit of a headache. But I've been here working all day long, getting ready for our trip to Haiti. And um, got our tickets purchased, ready to go. Can't wait to get there. Um, I've missed my family in Haiti. I've missed them so much and I can't wait to see them all. Can't wait to go to some births and to hopefully swim in the ocean and go hike up into the villages and, you know, provide care and friend be friends with my the people that I just love more than anything in the world. Have my friendship time, eat some amazing Haitian food. I can't wait. So um, I could, People always can see it in my face when I talk about Haiti. I like brighten up. Uh, so does Jennifer. So do all of us, all of us on the board, all of us doing this work. Um, but I'm excited. <laughs> so it'll be coming around the corner here in a couple weeks. So I can't wait to share. I'll share stories while I'm there. Um, I'll post information while I'm there. And um, I am looking forward to it. And I'm also like looking at the ways we're traveling right now. We're doing a different traveling route than we usually do. Um, just because travel has changed and the world has changed very quickly. So we're having to make some different arrangements and I'm figuring out how volunteers um, in the future will get to Haiti and um, being able to set that up and help, you know, streamline things for people and uh, help, you know, keep getting people to go and help our team there and bring supplies and all those things. So I look forward to telling you more and it'll be coming soon. Okay. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.